I can't believe this. I haven't done a video on recons yet. <laughs> I'm slipping. Let's get it started. Social Security has several levels of appeals available to you when you don't agree with their decisions. When you apply for the first time, which is called an initial claim, and you get denied, then you have an opportunity to appeal that decision. That is the first level of appeals. And that level is called a reconsideration or recon for short. A recon is basically you telling Social Security, well, I don't agree with your decision and I want you to take another look at this case to make sure that this decision was actually correct. A recon involves a thorough, uh, independent eh, review of all evidence from the initial determination and any new evidence a claimant like you submits in connection with the request for reconsideration. It is thorough depending on the examiner working on the recon and independent in the sense that you have a whole different disability adjudication team, meaning a new examiner and a new medical consultant. When you want to request a recon, you first have to complete what's called a 561, which is called a request for reconsideration. That is the formal request for a recon. And to be honest, your recon request doesn't necessarily have to be on a 561. As long as it is in writing, it counts. So you can fax it in, you can type out a letter and mail it to them, or you can just submit some additional evidence that you want to have considered, and that usually is enough to get your recon started. Now, as with any appeal for Social Security Disability, you have a certain window of time to get it done, and that window is 60 days to file your appeal. So recons fall in that category. You have 60 days to file your recon. Technically, it's 65 days because if you're mailing in your request for reconsideration, your 561 form, then they give you five extra days just to, just to account for mailing time. Now, that 60 days is kind of hard and fast, but there is a provision for you to submit good cause if you don't get it in that 60 day window. And usually when you have good cause, you have to submit it in writing. So it's not just you calling over and saying, hey, hey, I was late and I want to get you to get my recon filed. No, you have to say, this is the reason why I was late in submitting my request for reconsideration. A couple of good examples of this are when you don't get a denial letter. That's a pretty typical one. If there's an issue with with you getting that mail, somebody got in your mailbox and, and ran into it or something like that, well, that may be good cause. Another example of good cause is if the DDS fails to mail it. That sometimes does happen. Not very often, but sometimes it does get lost on the DDS or SSA side. So if they never even got the letter over to you, then that would be a good cause for you to have an extension of that 60 day window. Now to get technical, the recon process provides three things for you in basic form. The first one is it provides you an opportunity to present additional evidence. The second thing is a review of the evidence in your initial determination and any other evidence. And the third thing is a reconsidered determination based on all the combined evidence. So I need to make you aware of something that's called an affirmation. An affirmation is basically saying that your initial determination is agreed on if it meets all these criteria. In other words, the examiner can simply rubber stamp your recon and say that, yes, it was a denial and not, and not do anything else with it if it meets all of these points. And I need to mention that all of these conditions need to be met in order for your initial denial to be affirmed. And here they are. No worsening of your impairment or impairments from your initial decision. No new impairment or impairments not included on your initial claim. No medical treatment since your initial claim. The prior determination was solid on its merits. And there is no change in your ability to function. If one of these conditions is not met, for instance, if you had a new impairment that popped up after your initial claim was denied, 
The examiner cannot affirm or rubber stamp that initial claim and then apply that to your recon. They have to do a fresh recon claim. In other words, the examiner must develop your recon claim. Now, development of a recon claim involves a few things. Reviewing the past determination for any technical errors or issues, such as on the medical vocational or, or med voc side. Requesting medical records from your doctors. Maybe sending you to a CE appointment. Or if you need updating of your forms because you have worsening functions, such as getting more information or updated information on a function report. Now, here's an interesting wrinkle, so pay close attention to this one. If your medical doctor did not send in records at your initial claim and you were denied without that information being considered, Social Security and the DDS needs to make one more attempt to get records from that medical source. But they're only going to make one attempt. In other words, they're not going to send a request and then follow up with another attempt. If they don't send in records after that one attempt at the recon claim, then that's all they're required to do. Now, you can short circuit that and contact that medical doctor yourself and get those records and send them in when you have your recon claim open. That's definitely possible. Or you can actually send them in when you're actually filing your appeal or requesting a recon. Now, you may be wondering, should I even bother going through a recon? I mean, I got an initial claim. I don't want to go through this, go through this process again. My answer to that question is this. Please do. Appealing your decision is your right. You have a right to appeal a decision that Social Security gives you. You do not have to take their word as law because there could be an error that they made or there may be some records that they did not, they, that they did not consider or maybe they unjustly denied you for insufficient evidence when in fact you were being cooperative. So you really need to consider filing an appeal whenever that opportunity presents, your, presents itself. Because here's the deal. When you appeal, you really have nothing to lose. I understand that you're going through tough times trying to make ends meet when, you, when you're waiting on a decision. But by not filing an appeal, you could actually be leaving money on the table and you could be putting yourself in a much more severe predicament because you don't know how things can shake down on an appeal. You actually might have a good case. My advice is always to appeal. You have a right to appeal. And like I said, you have nothing to lose. Well, other than time, but essentially the worst they can say is no. And you'd be right back to where you were before. I know it's a hard pill to swallow, but if you don't have anything happening now, then it's actually worth it to give it another try. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, I don't really know how to go about doing this recon business, so I don't have any help. Well, I got you covered because I have what's called the SSA Forms Masterclasses, and I have a masterclass dealing with how to file a recon. I walk you through all of the forms that you need to complete to get your recon started. All you got to do is go to gregbrinkley.org backslash masterclasses. And you can get yourself set up with the help that Social Security is not giving you, no disability attorney is giving you, no disability advocate is giving you. I'm providing that for you. And it's going to be at a price that is well worth it because it's gonna get, you're going to get more value out of this than anyone could ever give you. This is your opportunity to get your recon locked down and started the right way. Go to gregbrinkley.org backslash masterclasses and you will have the best start you can have for a recon claim. Now, if you're applying for SSDI for the first time, well, this video is a, is a little bit ahead of the game because we're gonna assume that you're gonna be allowed the first time. I have a better video, make that I have a set of videos to help you get prepared the right way to file your initial claim. All you gotta do is click on this link right here and it'll take you to a special playlist that I have to help walk you through the process of filing for SSDI for the first time. And I'll see you on the other side in the next set of videos.